What is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Pokemon Go video. So today it's a rainy crappy day. It's not a very nice day out. It's really really humid. It actually just stopped raining and I could probably go out but it's really crappy out and I don't want to be walking around getting all sweaty and gross and stuff and then having that on video and it's just it's just a bad situation. So what I've decided to do is something a little bit different today. I know I say that a lot but a lot of times we are going to be doing something a little bit different every other day or every few days. So just bear with me for this one so we're gonna be going to the shop and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get an incense okay and we're gonna use an incense right here at my house sitting in my chair where I edit and everything and we're just gonna see what I can get right here in like a half an hour with this incense so let's do it I guess I already had an incense and I didn't need to buy one but you know whatever all right incense is now used so we should be attracting Pokemon very shortly I mean, honestly, this is just more of an experiment than anything else. Looks like we actually just got our first Pokemon. We picked up a Rattata, and it has 55 CP. Nothing special, really. We're just going to go ahead and catch it real quick. Um, I do want to catch all of the possible Pokemon that I can get, because obviously I want to be able to evolve a lot of things and Lucky Egg and get a lot of XP and everything. So definitely do want to be catching everything I possibly can. That seal looks real nice, though. I'd love to catch that, but unfortunately it's three away. And I don't want to go walk around the block and everything. That would, that, that would kind of defeat the purpose of this video right now. So we'll find one at some point, I'm sure. I mean, honestly, it's probably like one a minute or so. Like, I don't know really what to expect here. I've used incense in a lure moduled area by a Pokestop before, and I've used an incense going down the road before, but I haven't used one sitting in the same spot with no Pokestops around, so this is definitely new for me. But yeah, we're running up on two minutes in, and we've seen a Rattata from it, so that's kind of nice. Um, hopefully we get like one decent Pokemon, maybe one Pokemon I don't have to add into the Pokedex. I would be happy with that. Nothing yet, unfortunately. If I can make this entertaining, I can make anything entertaining. Four minutes in, still only one Rattata. I'm a little bit disappointed at this point. Honestly, I was hoping we'd see a little bit more. Yeah, we're at 9,170 XP out of the 20,000 for level 15, so that's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, we could just go through some Pokemon real quick. So I have them sorted by CP right now, but we can just go ahead and go to... Oh, go to Actually, I'm curious about that. HP-wise, it looks like everything pretty much seems to fall into place as far as the CP comparison between, like, CP and HP. So, it looks pretty, pretty much how I'd expect it anyways. Like, I mean, that, that's pretty much the same. Oh, what do we get? We got Spiro, guys! That totally made it worth using this incense. Woo! Totally worth it, guys. Totally worth it. I was having my doubts with just one Rattata, but, you know, this Spiro, like, whew, whew, that, 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 that made it all okay. I'm being sarcastic. So, about six minutes in now, and all we've seen is a Rattata and a Spiro. I'm thinking probably every three minutes we can expect a Pokemon. So, that's gonna be about another three minutes, guys. Sorry. Actually, why am I apologizing? You're the ones that are going to see it all sped up and everything. I'm the one that has to sit here. I might as well just apologize to myself. Alright, so let's go ahead and check out the Pokemon we can evolve right now. I think I can probably... Yeah, we can evolve Caterpie. Cannot evolve Bellsprout. Definitely need to save that Bellsprout for when we can, though, because that thing is going to be powerful evolved. Uh, let's see. We can power up Magmar, but I don't really want to. Don't want to waste my Stardust at this point. 32,000, while it seems like a lot, is definitely not enough to power it up to a relevant power at this point in time. At least relevant for my general area, so definitely think we have to wait on that one. Moving down, we have, what, Pidgey we can evolve? We have a few Pidgeys we can evolve, that's pretty cool. Paris, I'm waiting to evolve 300 CP going into a two-tier evolution. Like, that seems like it's going to be pretty fantastic. I'm going to guess it's probably going to be, like, 7 to 900 when I evolve it, which would be pretty pretty awesome. Like, that that would be the most powerful Pokemon on my team. Obviously, I could get one a lot more powerful than that at the moment, but right now, that would be pretty fantastic. Zeratata is looking good, and we can evolve two of those. Uh, Spearow we can evolve one of, that's kind of cool. We'll evolve that one later on, that seems actually pretty awesome. Uh, moving on, can we- we can evolve that Venonat, 376 Venonat, that thing is a powerhouse. 
We are definitely going to do that. So, um, oh, we got Weedles as well. We can evolve a few of those. Might, might as well just go ahead and pop a Lucky Egg since I have, what, six of them? Um, I think, I think that'll probably be alright. So, we're going to go ahead, we're going to pop a Lucky Egg. I know it's not optimal, guys. I know I only have, like, ten evolutions or something like that. But I just feel like doing it. We have five of them, you know... I know you guys are probably cringing as I use that, but it's all good. We're definitely going to be fine. So go ahead and evolve this Caterpie. Now, again, Caterpie probably isn't going to be relevant no matter how powerful the original one is. Obviously, Butterfree is what we do want, but at the moment, I'm still power leveling, still trying to gain a lot of experience, and I just don't think it's worth it to spend the 50 candy on a Butterfree when I could be spending it on a bunch of Caterpies. Because honestly, the experience from that is just crazy. Actually, you know what we might do? We're screw it. We're gonna get. I, I want to start completing my Pokedex. I'm gonna be doing something really fun later on with that. Um, but I am actually going to go ahead and transfer these Pidgeys and evolve this into a Pidgeot. I know it's not relevant. I know it's probably not the optimal idea, but I still want the Pidgeot in my Pokedex. We definitely want to be getting something out of this day we want to be getting something decent even if it's just a pokedex entry i definitely want to have something so we're going to do that i also just felt a buzz which means that we are going to see a pokemon pop up when we get out of this so we're, we'll do that in just a second i really want to evolve this eevee though like this is such a powerful pokemon and it's gonna evolve and it's gonna be really 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 powerful when i evolve it so i'm super hyped for that Gloom, a hundred Oddish Candy to evolve Gloom into Vile Plume. That is something we will also do in the near future, hopefully. Um, again, this is something I'm trying to figure out right now. I'm trying to balance everything with my work schedule and just still be able to record good videos for you guys. So if the schedule is off, I'm sorry, but I'm, it's, it's just me trying to figure out what's going to work best for me and just sort of balancing everything in my life. I can definitely not continue doing two uploads a day if they're going to be higher quality. I could just spit out videos constantly like other channels do. But that's not what I want to do. I want to make sure everything has a consistent quality as far as just my uploads. Like, if you see a news video from me, you know that it's going to be a decent quality, well thought out video. If you see a recording of like my Let's Play or just of general gameplay or something like that, you can expect a certain quality from that as well. And I don't want to deviate from that just to get more footage out. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so we can't evolve Oddish. Can't evolve Paris. Don't think. Yeah, we can't evolve Pikachu quite yet. Psyduck, we don't even need anymore. Uh, we can evolve two Rattataz, so we might as well go ahead and do that. Rattataz is a little bit of a weird one. It doesn't have a great multiplier on the CP when you evolve it, but um, it seems like you can find a higher power Rattata than you would any other basic Pokemon. So I guess it's possible that you could come across a Raticate that's just extremely powerful because the Rattata was originally extremely powerful. Like 424 Raticate, not that bad. I have to say I'm okay with that. Uh, we are going to go ahead and evolve this Rattata as well. It's not going to be as good, but it's some pretty decent XP. So that's pretty nice. God, that Scyther is just beautiful though. Oh my gosh. I'm so, so happy with that. And I'm going to be saving every bit of candy I get for Scyther because eventually Johto is going to come out and we're going to get Scizor and I'm going to be a very happy person, guys. That is just going to be awesome. I thought we were glitching out for a second. 563, not too bad. Again, we're getting decent replacements for the team that I've been using, so I'm happy with this. So far, we've had a pretty productive day, I guess you could say. Definitely need to evolve this 376 Venonat. 376. That is the highest Venonat I've seen and the highest Venonat that I've caught, obviously. The other Venonat that I have, or the other Venomoth that I'm, I'm gonna have a second Venomoth now. The other Venonat that I evolved turned into a 400 Venomoth, or maybe I caught the Venomoth actually at 400. That might have been the case. I don't know the multiplier on Venonat, that's what I'm trying to get at here. So let's see what we got, it should probably be like 700. 694? Thank you. Thank you game. Thank you for giving me this luck, that is beautiful. Getting right around that 6700 area for most of the evolutions here. At least the good ones anyways. We have a 152 Weedle. That is pretty darn powerful, I have to say. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty okay with that. Um, 
and that might be the one oh we got another buzz here so that means we got another pokemon to catch very shortly but i'm pretty happy with that if it stays up around the 170 area with kakuna right now we might actually end up evolving that into a beedrill later on because i feel like that's gonna be pretty awesome i feel like it is um 163 okay let's go check out that pokemon we got another weedle guys and 5000 xp that is beautiful to see right there I'm gonna go ahead and catch this weedle and hopefully we catch it hopefully it's not gonna be cheeky and you know oh it's gonna be cheeky okay be that way weedle be that way that's uh that's fine we'll we'll just donate you when we catch you you're getting donated i hope you know that you can go get tests ran on you and stuff by the professor i don't even care man you, you're gone you're done you're done weedle you're done just go in the pokeball and be done with it just maybe use up my resources use up my pokeballs those things those things don't come easy you have to farm those things if you catch pokemon as much as i do so definitely not oh wow we got some decent xp from that we are up to 18,670 so just about to go to level 16 which is pretty awesome probably around level 20 we'll start to invest more of our stardust and more of our candies into actually evolving to final forms of pokemon and just generally powering them up and everything because around level 20 it starts taking a lot longer to level up just right now it'd be a waste if i was actually like powering up pokemon because i level up fast enough that the pokemon that i decide to power up now a couple levels will be caught around that cp so it's a total waste of stardust so you save it the early levels and then you just use it in the later on late game kind of area when you're around level 20 you're not leveling up nearly as much and then you can power something up and just feel good about it you know like you're not gonna have an irrelevant pokemon in just a couple levels because it's gonna take you a lot longer to grow levels and they have less of an impact on the cp of your pokemon at this point in time i level up so quickly that power leveling is actually like a relevant thing to do and everyone around you at this point in time is going to be power leveling and getting ahead in the game so then they can battle at gyms and everything and be able to keep a gym for a little while like there's a gym for example over in the milford area that we were driving around in the other day that actually has like a 2100 snorlax in it and it hasn't left for days it's been like i want to say like four or five days at this point since we went up there and it has stayed there for the whole entire time it hasn't left so this person's been able to consistently keep a gym with like a 2100 snorlax so definitely do did i say snorlax i might have said something else anyways a snorlax at like 2100 really really powerful definitely think that that's the that's the way to go i mean it just is you just want to power level and get to the top where you can and then sort of take advantage of the bonuses you get for defending a gym so we're currently at like seven and a half minutes left for this incense and we've seen like four or five pokemon at this point that is pretty ridiculous so i definitely think and would recommend that you guys don't actually use your incense sitting at home use it while you're out use it while you're in an area you'd already see a lot of pokemon because right now this was a waste of 80 coins i can't even believe that we haven't seen very many spawns Honestly, I think that it's made to work while you're in an area that already sees a lot of spawns. So if you're in like the supermarket areas or the downtown areas or generally places where a lot of people already are around pokey stops and everything, then you'll probably see a lot more spawn right on top of you from the incense. Again, this is totally baseless speculation, but I really do feel pretty strongly right now that <laughs> this probably wasn't worth it, and I probably just wasted the 80 coins, but it was an experiment, so it's totally fine. That seal's still looking there on nearby, still definitely want that, but outside though, I don't want to do that. Okay, gotcha. We're at one minute left. I haven't seen a Pokemon in a few minutes now. <sighs> That was so worth it, really. You guys should do it too. What a great idea. Why did I waste my coins? Well guys, that's about all we're going to be doing today. I just wanted to take the chance to do something a little bit different. Obviously, it didn't really work out as well as I'd have liked it to, but 
it did sort of do a little bit of an experiment, do something new, do something to show you guys how it would work out if you did something similar. Obviously, we are going to waste the last seven minutes of this lucky egg, and it is absolutely tearing me apart on the inside. But it's totally okay. We did it for the video, did it for the lols, you know. And that's going to be about it for this one. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I hope to see you back here for the next Pokemon Go video. Till then, peace.